I was gonna say, Silver, that I appreciate your consideration, but tell me that Grunty expecting you to pay on your way out after imprisoning you is not like 100% in character. Oh, 100% on brand. Yeah, no, like that, that's, I would not expect anything more of her. More or less? I, both. You know, I couldn't figure out the word to use, so we're gonna go with both. Yeah, definitely both. Okay, the fry hut's not open, so I guess I gotta go find the thing to open it. Well, at least they're honest. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Oh my god, you sound like Bozai. He kind of does. Hmm. You know, I, I never did hate Salty Joe. Now I do. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just give him here, Salty Joe. I guess uh, Joe still remembers how to customer service. <laughs> Alright, well, we can go rescue one small child now. Yeah. Oh, look! We found the last move! There we go. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, simple enough, really. So there's a few, uh, notable differences that you have now that you have split up Kazooie and Banjo. Uh, most notably is that both of their health have been cut in half. It is very, very easy to die as Kazooie, especially. Yeah. She also, by default, moves at Talon Trot speed and can just walk up stuff on her own. You know, which makes sense. It was her ability to begin with. Yeah, and she, that she, out. she gets the, uh, the, the, the flap, the flappy jump too, the double jump. Because again, it's hers. Her backflip jump is also extremely high. Like, mm -hmm. which again, makes sense because you don't have Banjo on your back when attempting to do it. <laughs> oh, and can't she still also spit eggs when she's by herself? Yes. He, yep, I definitely yeah. spit out an egg. Yeah, so so she can even defend herself without without Banjo. It make, makes you wonder why she puts up with him at all. Banjo on his own is a little more limited. He does yeah. have some uses. Uh, there are some very cool things you can do with Solo Banjo, but for the most part, he is very much a, a utility mole, as it were. Mm hmm Whereas Kazooie can just be zipping around the level like, like, like nothing, and it's very fun. See. Makes me wish I, I could just say, yeah, see ya, Banjo, I'm playing the rest of the game with just Kazooie. I can't believe you're breaking the rides. Yeah. Nice. I'm surprised that worked. Same. Uh, was that? Is that all I can do in here? For now. Well, I mean, you did just blow up the ride. I don't know what you, you expected. Did. Yeah, I guess that's you fair. Did. All right, I guess when we find Mumbo, we'll be back. That's the exit. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and the the uh, boggy child was at the western area, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah over, over by the castle, which I kind of which we're gonna need to go over to anyway. Now that uh, we can split up Banjo and Kazooie. Right. And we have fries and burgers. Area fifty one. Hmm. Oh, this got faster. You were very close. Eh, I'll take it. Oh, this is just the entrance. Mm -hmm. Uh, I forget if I gotta warp to the castle. Come on. I don't. No, the warp, to the, the warp to the western area is by Wumba. Oh, that makes sense. And at the worst, you could warp to the space zone and then take the cable car across. Uh, I guess that's true. Can you? I don't think you can get up there. Really? I thought you could just climb. No, because the, the pole for that stops up top of that uh, one building. Oh, uh, okay. I think you're right. I don't know. Uh, I, will, I will defer to artists because my memory of this game is very, very old. Alright, Argate, are you ready to test your strength? Test mm. your might. Test your might. Hmm, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not it gonna is... do it. You're gonna have to hit it some more. Yeah, you, you haven't rung the bell. Argate. Argate, please. <laughs> Can't believe we have already forgotten the wisdom of Jam Jars. Yeah. yeah. All I remember was something about hitting the, the, the bell three times. Yeah. How else could you hit it? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what it said was there were three different ways to ring the bell. So you tried the drill, the drill beak thing. Okay. What else you got? Yeah. So bill drill is one of them. What yeah. else could you hit it with? Um. I actually am legitimately drawing a blank right now. You can do this, by the way. There's nothing. We have yeah. everything we need. Yeah. I'm just gonna come back to this because I'm genuinely drawing to blank. All right, fair enough. Mm. Yep, fair. Instead, we can go pick up a polar bear child. I don't know if pick up is the right word, but you know, we can we can send her on her way. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I mean, even. I mean, Banjo is reasonably strong himself, but I do not believe he will be picking up that child anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, she, she does look like she's nearly full grown, so yeah, that might be a, a, a tall order. I would absolutely not call her full grown, given the size of Mr. and Mrs. Boggy. <laughs> True, I, I, was, I was going off of Banjo's size, that she was nearly as tall as him. Yes, so you have cracked the code on the Minjos. Okay, good it job. It takes four eggs to kill one? I mean, usually yeah. I use grenade eggs. Yeah, I was gonna say, it only takes one grenade. I yeah. guess that's fair. Alright, now I can see what this fabulous move that only Banjo could learn is. Just be careful. Yeah, I, I have no, uh, no means of defense right now. Right. Kazooie does all the work right here. I imagine I'm about to get some defense, or some some kind of an attack. Maybe, maybe. Ah, yes, the oh, half whack. 
Yeah, so now you can attack. And it's a lot better than the pack whack that you got in Grunty's Revenge. Oh, it's say. a lot. It's a lot better for many reasons, but mm -hmm. the real reason that it is so incredible is, eh, well, we'll save that for another time. Yeah, we'll get to that. It's a very good attack. All right, Kazooie, let's uh, off to the uh, the pump room. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that now. I guess while we're here, I'll go review that uh, that sign too. Oh, I should have. I thought there was a split up thing in here. Okay, I'll just put them up. Uh. This banjo is somewhat limited in the uh, upward mobility department, let's say. Nice. Man, that thing just lasts forever. It does. It's also very slow, though. Yeah. This should bring back the, uh, or bring up the, uh, the bounce house. Then you can go bouncing it. And why wouldn't you? And See, it has stage? shock spring pads and everything. Can Kazooie use that by herself? She can. It gets her okay. an absurd amount of height. Ooh, that sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Something tells me I'm gonna need that absurd height height if I wanna to get to the top of this uh bounce house. Is it too high for a uh, normal shock jump? It shouldn't get you up there. Yeah, I was just assuming, but I'm gonna try that first. That couldn't hurt. Try first. And if it turns out it's too high, the split up pass right over there. Okay, yeah, there you go. Can I not do it from Kazooie's back? No. Oh, huh. I swear I could do that in uh, the first game. Uh, I believe so. So. Hmm. I don't know what the point of being up there was, but now we're inside. How mysterious. Okay, I guess I'll go split them up again. Sure is a good thing they're right in front of the castle. It's very convenient. Yeah? They're... The, the door had Kazooia, okay. Yeah, but the other... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was so confused. Like, but the, the door had Kazooie's picture on it. Okay, I assumed the door that was, uh, already open was, uh, meant for Banjo? But it was already open, and you yeah, had Yeah, it was already open. open. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I assumed wrong. What well, wonders await us in here? Stargate. <laughs> How do you feel about mini games? Uh, oh boy. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. No. And there are those shoes, so you can just go fast. I 
I depth perception is gonna be a problem here. Hey, you seem to be doing okay. What did what did you have to get to Six, for a prize? Or, was it thirty or sixty? I hope it wasn't sixty, because I don't think we're gonna get that. I don't think yeah, I don't think I can manage to, uh sixty either. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. At least yeah, 50 should be good. Mm -hmm. Yay! Good job. You got it. Oh, that's oh, why. That's, I like. Okay, I get it now. All right. So first, first Jiki of the world, right? Yay! <laughs> We're uh, forty-five minutes in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are there more prizes for playing again? No. Okay. I think if there's another prize, it, it'll tell you. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Because I think I dimly recall some of those have a Cheeto page as another prize you could win. Don't most, quote me yeah, on that. Most though. of the time, if if a if a game has uh two rewards, it's it's usually Jiggy then Cheeto page. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that's more more or less what I expect after uh after Canary Mary's example. Oh yeah, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. We did have that. Alright, now we can see what the, the main attraction is. I excited. What? I mean I guess I might as well. Believe me, by the time you leave this world, you will never again have to ask what the rules are. Yeah. <laughs> I have fun! Oh boy! Well, at least they give you the infinite rapid-fire eggs. True, true. Just, just freaking, just fucking go! Remember that you uh, are flying, by the way. Yep, yep, I'm aware. What was it, 30 points again? Uh, was it 50, I think? I think. It was 50, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just never stop. Yep, I'm just not gonna let go of the Z button. Good idea. Also, like, remember that you can fly. You can go up in this game yeah. too, Argate. Yeah, you can, you can, you can gain some height. I know, but this is working out just fine. I'm actually surprised it doesn't force you on the ground, given that you're, you know, there. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'll take it. You can fly up, Argate! Fine. <laughs> Since you insist. Uh, I keep expecting her to rhyme, and she doesn't, and it's bugging me. Nope. No. Uh -oh. eh. Exiting with style, I like it. I'm actually surprised I uh, didn't put the the top of the door. I was or expecting shit you, on the ground. Yeah, I was expecting you to crash into the ground. <laughs> you can just get up there. You don't need to slow up. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you remember the the regular shock, shock jump was enough to get up there. Right, but I didn't think I had enough height to get up onto the, uh, the parapet. You- you have the- the, the flap flip jump. Should be fine. Yeah, I guess that's Or, you fair. know, if you do- yeah, you have to aim right. Okay, please. There you go. Some, uh, some slight height-based difficulties here. <laughs> Technical difficulties, please stand by. Okay. Yeah, I, think, I think that's everything in in this area. It is. Yeah, I think we've got this place about covered. Yeah, I'm good on eggs. Pretty much. 
I'm gonna see if I can, like, do an egg onto this button, but I I am doubtful that's going to actually work. Good try to try. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, you got three eggs and you tried two of them. Uh, I'll move back, I guess. Ah. <laughs> I kind of wish there were, like, there's no way for me to, like, review the moves in, like, the menu, right? Um, I don't know if there is or not. Huh? I don't think there is either. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I should just be able to do it, right? Yes, you can just yeah. do this. Yeah, you can. You're gonna feel stupid when we tell you what the third one is. Yeah, you're gonna feel very stupid. Alright, what is it? It's just a fucking ground pound. Yeah, that's just a regular ground pound, man. Without holding it down. Oh! No. Oh! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, you know what, that's on me for, uh, forgetting or not realizing that holding it changes it to the, the drill, the drill dive. Yay! You, you win the strongest bear contest. All right, that's uh, that's Jiggy three then. Not bad, not bad. Okay, what's next? Well, I guess I haven't gone to the big top yet. Or or Humba. I think one of those things would be very good to check out. Uh, Humba Wumba was up there. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they're starting to sound like vampires to me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is a vampire one over in, like, the horror area, and he says, Blood! Good. Hang on, I saw, yes. I saw that, Jinjo. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair, fair. We're having some problems here. There we go. Okay. You know, Banjo's got very good upper body strength to be able to just uh, go along those ledges like that. Yeah? That, that would not be easy to do. I suppose he is a bear, and, you know, strength is kind of, you know, their thing. Still. If, if nothing else, we're, we will have the, the teleporter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh good, there's a global right in here. And she's just too lazy to get up and grab it. I mean, Humba, job, Bubba. Humba is pretty big in comparison to us. Like, considering the size of an average bear, and then considering the size of Humba. Yeah, okay. You, no, you, raise, you raise a point. She's very tall. I will say, say, Humba has to be about, like, what, about 10 feet tall, at least? Yeah, at least. I see. There you go. Congratulations, you're the van now. The van is literally invincible. Oh, hell yeah. And now you can take the, the back ways that are only open to employees. And that's fun. Aw, I can't drive in first person. Nice. It's 
Fuck's given zero. Okay, well, if I carry a lot of coins, then I should be able to pay for this. There you go, that's the ticket. What horrors slash wonders await us inside, I wonder. Let's find out. This looks lava-y enough for Gobi. Yeah, I feel like Gobi was trying to end up over here. I don't know. This is a still a theme park. This is very imitation lava-y. I bet this is just really hot orange juice. Eh, you know, it could be. Oh, hey, there's a thing. Good. Now we can do a mumbo as well. I'm not gonna lie, for, like, this is making me think of, uh, one of those, one of the areas from, like, Nuts and Bolts that you showed off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was the volcano in that first world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there you go. A cheetah page. Nice. Well, I suppose we'll be back as, uh, Aaron Bird then. Yep, the, the van is lacking in the uh, all-terrain tires kind of department. It's at least uh, heat resistant. Yes. <laughs> no four-wheel drive, man. Grunty really cheaped out. Or not Grunty. Humba. Sorry. Oh boy, frame rate. Shiny. Hey, there we go. Very nice. I think that's all the notes? Uh... It's close if it's not. Okay, yeah, I'm missing... Just two a little more. more. Two more small, uh... Nests. Yeah. Does it say gigawatts or ginger watts? Gigawatts. Gigawatts. I like it. Okay, well, I know where the last the last notes are, at least. It's something. Seems like our next port of call should probably be the Inferno, then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna go take the uh, the van back to uh, the rental shop. It has served its purpose well. Okay, so I want to go try to climb up to the top of this first with the uh, turbo trainers. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. It's fine, I didn't fall off. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing is tall. It's like the Tower of Terror, right? Something like that? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Oh, oh dear. This is not gonna end well. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna, I was kind of hoping that that uh, fireball was just gonna kill you as like a, like as a drive-by shit pose. There you like go. That? <laughs> there, that's that's what we're waiting for.